Recently, I've been having a lot of concern about my hair care. As you guys know, my hair has been bleached for the longest amount of time and it is damaged. And not only that, I've been concerned about my scalp and hair loss as well recently. So I've been wondering, is my hair care going in the right direction? We will find out the best hair care revival tips on today's Do and Don't. Happy New Year, guys! It is now the year 2022. 2022, that's a mouthful. Yeah, and I wish you guys all the best for the new year. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I've been recently really getting into hair care. As you guys know, my hair has been bleached and damaged, and I've been concerned about hair loss as well. That's why I dyed my hair darker and started putting more effort into my hair care. And I've also noticed that a lot of our wish trenders are into hair care as well. I've noticed on the community that a lot of people have been asking for more hair content, so here it is. So I have a question for you guys. Do you guys invest a lot of time into taking care of your hair? I learned the hard way that it's super important to take care of your hair and it's better late than never. Tip, the basic of hair care, proper shampooing. The most basic step to hair care is proper shampooing. I know that there are wish trenders out there who have really dry or oily hair. But did you guys know that that has to do with improper shampooing more than you think? There are a few things that you need to check first when you're shampooing your hair. Number one, the water shouldn't be too cold or too hot. For short hair, use one pump of shampoo and for long hair, use two pumps. After lathering your shampoo, wash your scalp first. Use conditioner or hair treatment to prevent your hair from tingling. Just by following these tips, you'll notice an improvement for sure. If you want a more in-depth care, look into different hair care products. You need to choose products according to your scalp type, whether or not your hair is dry, oily, curly, or straight, or whether or not your hair is damaged or colored. Another tip is that you should choose your shampoo according to your scalp type and choose your treatment or conditioner based on your hair type. Do. The basic of hair care equals scalp. Use scalp care products. Now, when it comes to hair care, you really have to pay attention to your scalp as well as your hair. The reason why we use shampoo is to cleanse the scalp. No matter how much you take care of the hair, if you don't and neglect the scalp, then you're not solving the root of the problem. Especially hair loss, guys. If you guys are concerned about hair loss, then you really need to focus and take care of your scalp. If your scalp is dry, it can get itchy and get inflammations. Just like your skin, if your scalp gets dry, it causes problems with sebum secretion and moisture loss. That will also lead to your hair getting dry and dull as well, and if it gets more severe, it can lead to hair loss. To prevent your scalp from getting dry, we recommend using scalp care products. If you want to care for your scalp because of concerns such as dead skin cells and sebum, we recommend using products for dandruff and exfoliating care. If you have an oily scalp that produces a lot of sebum, I would recommend using a shampoo brush for a more profound cleanse. The shampoo brush will help cleanse your scalp better than when you use your fingers. And washing your hair every single day is not the solution. You need to pay attention to the condition of your scalp. If it feels dry, then maybe wash your hair every two to three days. However, we do not recommend no poo, which means not shampooing your hair at all. It's easier to understand if you think of your scalp as a part of your skin. If you don't cleanse away dead skin cells and impurities, it will tangle up your skin cycle and it goes the same for your scalp. Two, choose the best hair care method for your hair type. If you're someone that bleaches, perms, or colors your hair very often, then you guys are probably very concerned with your hair. There are also people with concerns about their oily hair or concerns about damaged hair that's so tangled that you can't even brush it out. Whether you have blonde hair, curly or straight hair, or thin or thick hair, everyone has their own variety of hair concerns. That's why hair care needs to be able to cater to each and every problem. You need to properly understand the condition of your hair and the hair care you want to achieve when choosing a product. If you're someone that has bleached hair like I used to have, then I would recommend a product like this. It prevents color from fading and it also cancels out yellow pigment so it doesn't give your hair that brassy color. Yep. This is the way to go. If you have thin, straight, flat hair, we recommend using products for volume care. When drying your hair, dry it upside down to add volume. Also, if you feel like your hair has gotten thinner because you have a sensitive scalp or are experiencing hair loss, we recommend using silicone-free shampoo. If you have curly hair, you should choose your products according to how thick and damaged your hair is. If you have really frizzy hair, choose a heavy conditioner or hair mask to reduce static electricity. If you take a close look at damaged hair, you can see that there are a lot of areas that are close to breaking. 
Use nourishing and repairing products that can protect your hair from breaking and repair the areas that are damaged. We also recommend using well-balanced, low pH products with a pH of about 6. Do Provide protein to your hair. If you style your hair every day, color, bleach, and perm your hair often, there's a high chance that your hair cuticle is damaged. If your hair has started to become limp and lifeless, it is now time for protein care. If your hair has breakage and it feels crunchy to the point that you can't even brush it out, we recommend staying away from coloring, perming, or dyeing your hair for at least about a year. Now, if that's not possible, then we recommend that you at least take care of your hair with protein products. Using conditioners with protein lasts only until the next shampoo wash, so it is important to consistently use these products. When using hair treatments, use a hair cap for a sufficient amount of time so that the protein absorbs in the hair effectively. Don't apply hair products to the scalp. When you guys use hair treatment, conditioners, oils, or serums, do you guys absorb all the way to your scalp? That's a big no. The only thing that are supposed to touch your scalp are shampoo and water. Unless they are products that are specially made for your scalp, you should steer away from hair treatments, conditioners, serums, or oils from touching it. These products may be helpful for your hair, but if you use them on your scalp, it can clog pores and cause breakouts. So if they aren't scalp care products, then only use them at the ends of your hairs. Don't do this with wet hair. I know guys, when we're busy, there are times when we forget about hair care. But no matter how busy you are, there is something that you must, must, must keep in mind. Don't go out with wet hair. Guys, when your hair is wet, it is so vulnerable to damage. No matter how busy you are, make sure to dry your scalp and hair before leaving the house. Don't brush wet hair. If you really feel the need to brush your hair, then make sure to smooth it out first with oil or serum and then brush it out. Don't put wet hair up. If you leave your hair in a wet state for a long time, then the sebum will mix with moisture and put your hair in a worse state. In today's video, we talked about different ways to take care of your hair. I hope this really helped our wish trenders out there. Remember that hair care is just as important as skincare. This year, I'm going to really pay attention into bringing my hair back to life. If there are any hair or scalp care products that you guys tried that you guys want me to check out, then please leave them down in the comments below. Plus, all the products that were mentioned in this video are linked in the description box, so go check that out as well. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!